Uh, right now, while we are on online here, let me just uh, kind of answer question three since the question came up. Let me use the Zoom annotations tool here. So it's uh, asking, consider a cart rolling down a ramp, identify all forces acting on the cart as it rolls down and state whether the force does a positive, negative, or zero work as the cart rolls down. So this is the image you should have in your mind. Um, it always helps to visualize the situation so that you understand what's going on and and um, so that you understand what's going on. And sometimes it becomes especially important as you use conservation laws to solve problems because sometimes it's hard it's easy to get in the trap of applying the formula without checking or realizing if uh, the formulas are applicable. So, uh, so I have a cart that's gonna be rolling down a ramp. Um, so it, since it says identify all forces, let me draw a free body diagram. Free body diagram is a great way to analyze all forces. So in this free body diagram, I'm going to have weight, pulling down this cart and um, there's going to be normal force on the cart. And let's see, does it say we should ignore friction? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't say we should ignore friction, but let me just draw in a different color. There could be friction going this way. And I think it's useful to see the direction of displacement. The displacement is happening in this way. So this is where it. Um, this is where you should remember the definition of work. Work is defined as using all the vector quantities defined as force dot product with the displacement. So uh, this is where you see certain forces, like the normal force here, it'll do zero work because it's uh, perpendicular to the direction of displacement. So the normal force will do zero work. Uh, you see that gravitational force, it's not pointing uh, parallel in the same direction as the displacement, but this angle here, it's not 90 degrees. So the gravitational force uh, will do work that, uh, um, that, um, that goes like mg times uh, delta x times cosine of this angle here, theta, which is, um, I guess, uh, that's not the, so this is how you would label the theta. Um, so gravitational force will be doing work, and that's an acute angle, meaning gravity is kind of in the same direction as displacement, so there will be, this will be doing positive work. So as the cart rolls down, there's a positive work being done. And if uh, we could uh, ignore friction, then there's a net positive work being done on this cart. And that should make sense since it's accelerating, it's uh, kinetic energy is increasing and work of kinetic energy theorem says that a change in kinetic energy is uh, equal to the net work done on the body. And when you are calculating this network, you are including all the forces, like conservative forces like gravity. And uh, if you are not ignoring friction force, then it's going in the opposite direction. So friction force should be doing negative work. And using this definition, you can see that it's doing negative work. The force times delta x times cosine theta and here the angle theta is uh, 180 degrees. And when you put cosine of 180 degrees, you get minus one on your calculator. So, so yeah, that's a pre lab seven, uh, question three. There should be minimum two forces, gravity and normal force. And normal force does zero work. That's kind of a feature of normal force that in most cases it's doing zero work because it happens to be perpendicular to the direction of displacement. Uh, gravity does positive work and friction, if there were any, it would be doing negative.